I want to so I want to start uh, today with talking about failure. Uh, failure and incompetence and yeah, just and uh, I think we should we should start with uh, really start with uh, this the assassination attempt on on President Trump and the more I read about this, the more the information comes out. It, it, the, the only two conclusions one to come uh, uh, can come to is either is either the the Secret Service is is incredibly co incompetent. Or there's some grand conspiracy here, although to try to understand that conspiracy and try to uh, make any sense of it, I, I'm not sure you can. But uh, I, I think, without a doubt, the answer to that question is just sheer incompetence. Uh, we've talked about this a little bit, but, but I want to reinforce this, that people are incompetent. People do fail, particularly people in government. People in government are not very good at what they do. And we have this vision that, okay, but they, you know, it's a secret service. A secret service is just another government agency that happens to deal with force, or at least it's dealing with, uh, you know, something that the government is supposed to deal with. It's not doing something the government is not supposed to do. But there's no reason to believe that they're that much competent than other government agencies. And, and, you know, this, I include in this kind of uh, view is, is the military. I think we have a romanticized, uh, bizarre view of the military and anything to do with the military. But the reality is that the incompetence goes through and through, the corruption, the, the, the lack of focus, the lack of thinking, the lack of strategy. I mean, look, it comes down from the top, and, and we haven't had a president with good strategy, and I don't know how long, good thinking, and I don't know how long, very, very long time. And, and so this affects every branch of the government, particularly every branch, every, not so much every branch of the government, every section of the executive branch. So, uh, you know, you've got uh, uh, Secret Service saying, well, we, we weren't on that roof because it was slanted. They only go on flat roofs, it turns out. I mean, really? But the sniper could be on it. It wasn't that slanted. Why didn't they shoot when they saw him? We still don't have exact answer to that one. Uh, how, could, how, how could they not have somebody watching access points to this roof, even if they didn't position somebody there? And you can go on and on and on. And my conclusion is they just, they just blew it. They just blew it in a realm, in a realm where blowing it means human lives. And again, I, I want to emphasize, this is not unique to Secret Service. The FBI has often shown its incompetency, incompetency and its politicization. We saw that during the Trump uh, years and, and after the Trump years. We've seen that with the military spending 20 years in Afghanistan and having literally all they've had to show for it are the bodies of, what, 1,000, 2,000 young American men. That's what they have to show for it. Uh, we saw it in competence in Iraq. We saw it in, the, in, in, the, in every aspect of the war in Iraq. The, 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 you know, the disaster was, was Fallujah. The, it, over and over and over again. You probably, guys probably don't even remember Fallujah. So... Uh, every, and, and, and you see this incompetence leads everybody to believe, not everybody, but leads a lot of people to believe, that's impossible. I mean, hey, these are tough guys. These are, you know, a lot of Secret Service, probably former Marines. These are, these are smart people. They, they work for the president. They're, they're in the White House. They're, these are really amazing people. They don't fail. So if they failed... It must be a conspiracy because you have to have an explanation. People need explanations for things. And since th there is no explanation other than, you know, incompetence, and these people can be incompetent, these are the supermen of, 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 uh, of America, then all you've left is the only explanation left is it has to be some conspiracy. Uh, it's much easier to think that the evil 
is super smart than it is to think that people you think are good are just incompetent. Are just incompetent. But, yeah, there is no conspiracy here. Even if it is a conspiracy, it's a pretty lame conspiracy. But there is no conspiracy here. This is just plain people not doing their job. People slacking off because that's easier. People slacking off because doing your job requires effort, requires focus. And, you know, when's the last time anybody shot at a president or a presidential candidate? A long time. So what the hell? I mean, Biden didn't even approve Secret Service protection for RFK. And RFK comes from a family where people tend to get shot. You'd think they'd have some security there. I am still convinced that the shooter is a just a nihilistic young man who, if the president, if Trump wasn't coming around town, he would have found a school to shoot up or something else. Uh, so I, there's nothing more than that, I think, going on here, and everything else is being blown out of proportion. But here's the thing about incompetence. People die because of incompetence. And in this case, somebody did die because of incompetence. One of the crowd in the Trump rally, two people got seriously injured because of this incompetence. And, but the incompetence, of course, is not unique to the Secret Service. It, it is broad-based. All I want to say, and we'll get to another example of this in a minute, all I want to say here is beware of the conspiracy theories. Beware of, of, of simplistic explanations for phenomena. Beware of people trying to, uh, you know, create explanations for things that don't really need explanations because they just, they are what they are. As sometimes uncomfortable and as hard to believe as it is.